a Reddit comment inspired me to make a tutorial on how to make the funny dramatic text used in many cases. So here it is. Obviously you need Blender for this. Remember when I'm moving around, middle mouse button rotates the view, shift middle mouse button slides the view around. But to start, you need the floor. So press S, Z, which scales it on the Z axis, and then S, Shift, Z, which scales it everywhere else. Also, you need the text, so you go to Add, and then Text. But to change the text, you change the Object Mode in the top left to Edit Mode, and then type something super funny. But type it in caps, I kind of forgot that. But then you go to Object Mode again, and on the right, there's little tabs for the text options, and there you can find the fonts. And you need to look for the impact font because that's what the original meme uses. One of the options here is the alignment. You can just make it center. And also you can change the spacing under it. I don't think you need to do that much. I was just making it perfect. But it's lying flat so R X rotates it X axis. Then it's G for grab but press Z for the Z axis. To make it 3D, you look for the extrude option and just make it a bit larger. Control Alt 0 puts the camera in your view. And then if you go to this like hidden tab, you can find lock camera to view so you can just move it around easier. And also on the right, there's a camera tab and you can change the field of view. And I'm also just moving the text around so it lines up and everything. This part is fun. There's an icon on the top right for the shaded view and turn it on cycles with GPU compute on and everything will look better. And there's a material tab for both objects. You can make it material. The ground later will be kind of a red color, but also move the light sort of to the middle by pressing G and pressing zero goes back to the camera view. Adjust the materials so they look how they're supposed to, mostly with the metallic and the roughness sliders. If you find the environment tab, you can turn the strength to zero so you get a black background. And also there's a weird shading issue on the sides, so if you right click and convert it to mesh and then auto smooth, then it'll look normal. But after that, just correct everything with the lighting to the right colors and stuff. I always take a long time to make it look accurate, but it's just going back through the sliders in the different colors. You can also change the light strength and its size. When you go to the top camera tab on the right and set the time limit to like 10 seconds, then at the top left you go to render then render image, and then that's it pretty much done. You just need to wait for it to get everything worked out and then you get an image and then save obviously I know I didn't go through everything but if you just ask something in the comments I will answer so I think anyone can do this